46, time to ask the attorney your legal questions. Happy to have attorney Chris Murray from the Heyman Law Firm with me this morning. Good morning, Chris. We're going to get right to the question so you can give us uh, as much knowledge as you can. And today's question comes in from Earl J. Earl wrote in to say, I was in an accident and my car was totaled by the insurance company. The adjuster said the car was worth $3,000, but I still owe the bank $4,000. What do I do? Sounds like he's underwater. Timmy, you there? I am there. Can you hear me, Chris? Yeah, a little bit better. So in our practice, okay. we have a lot of people who are injured. And as, as part of helping them with their personal injury claims, we also help them with their property damage. And occasionally, we see situations where someone's car is demolished and the value of the car is less than the balance on the loan. Basically, the car depreciated faster than the, the balance of the loan. And one of the things the client can do is, is, is just pay the balance of the loan out of their pocket, but that's not very palatable to most people. So what we recommend is two things. The first thing is we recommend that the client check and see if he or she has gap insurance. And what gap insurance is, is it's a product where your insurance company will pay your loan balance for you if your car is totaled and the value of the car is less than the loan balance. If you don't have gap insurance, then we recommend that you contact your lender and see if, if, you, if you buy another car and use your lender for the new purchase, if they'll roll your prior loan balance into your new loan. And many will do that. And in these, by, by either using a rollover or by using gap insurance, we avoid a situation where the client has to pay the loan balance out of their own pockets. The best thing I, I recommend to all listeners out there today is if you do buy a car and you're not going to buy it up front with cash, and if you're going to finance it, we highly recommend that you get gap insurance to protect yourself in these situations. And it's not very, not expensive at all. It's, it's a nominal amount added to your monthly premium, and you can avoid the situation from happening. Okay, well, that is a, a good uh, uh, good bit of advice there, Chris, because I imagine there's a lot of people who are certainly in that uh, situation. So I'm glad you were able to help out, Earl. And uh, thank you. Sorry we had a little bit of problems with the uh, call volume, but I'm glad we got you in. And, folks, as always, 1-800-HAYMAN or HaymanLaw.com is where you can go if you would like to ask the attorney your legal questions. We do it every Tuesday morning right around this time.